do that. Back on the lake, we're going over some lake trout. It's myself and my dad today. Let's see what we can get into. Stay with us, we'll be on the water in a minute. Up and down this little area, and we're gonna drop on fish that we see. We stand like this, and I just go back and forth, up and down. And when I see a fish, I put anchor, I, I, I put the, the thruster in reverse, throw anchor on, and then we just drop straight drop right down on. either side of this transducer. Drop there, I drop there, and hopefully the fish comes up. They normally do. Look at this. Yeah, basically when we, when we see one, how tight's your drag? You may have to make sure it's good and tight that you put the hook on these puppies. That's a, a lighter rod, right? There's really only so many spots it can be around. Like there's three points here, there's a point here, the point runs off the other point, the point runs off the point on the other side, not right. here. There's a point in the middle here, it sits it right there. There's a point there. The other side of the lake, there's a point in the far end where he's going, but it's a high, there's a hump over there. Yeah. Not a hump, sorry, he comes up like this, but like 30 feet and drops back into his deep bay. There really isn't a whole lot of structure to fish. Really, a lot of bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's not, there's really no structure in here at all. Like, zero. Like, there's no structure. But we went up and down the lake and mapped it. Um, literally no humps, no high spots, no hard spots, nothing. Mm. It was very, very, very consistent with it. I think we're too far from this way. I'm probably going to end up turning back. We're just working inside of this day. If anything, this is overcast last night. It's a little bit more shallow, but... That's the thing is you gotta make sure you're not running too fast through here so then you see if you can actually get stopped on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like see that black on the see how there's a light blue on my fish finder on my actual fish finder? Yeah. But you see how it's like a dark black? Right. It's basically a wall. It's just this contour line stack it goes. So we're basically this is where we do the running this contour line all the way around, we just start keep our fish all the way through. But if we'll do one pass through here, and if we don't see anything in this pass, then we may have to look around and make a drop around that front point there. They'll be in here. If we see them, we'll catch them. The other thing too is like if we're having a hard time, like if we don't see any in here, there's no point of staying in here. But we got to the point yesterday where that we weren't marking fish, we'd go back to this spot, 
And as we roll up to the spot, we need to mark one while we sit there for a minute or two and one will show up. Mm. Even without calling them, without rattles, without anything. Fish, you see the fish? The fish is just sinking the bottom. It's a fish sinking the bottom deck. Yeah, left in my line. Do some pop and get him to come back up. Mm -hmm. My fish finder wasn't marking properly. He showed up at your depth, though, I think, is why you didn't see him. Now bring it up a bit and see if it can lift it. Fish not coming up, yeah. Well, yeah, but you give him a little bit of separation. I can't even see your lure anymore. No, I can't either. Well, guy, come up more than probably. I'm going up here. See? It's okay, that's only three feet. Oh, is it? Okay. I'm probably the best. He's coming up to that line. He's doing yeah. what you're doing. That was cool. So you had, so this is the thing we did with the spot fish just seem to come back around the spot. I don't know where they're coming from. Right. He 100% ate because he, he swam away from your lure. He swam down to the bottom off of your lure. Crazy. The other thing too, when a fish swims away like that, sometimes they're best to bring your lure way up so they can see it too, like way up in the water deep down. Well, it could be a fish, but... Because those dots could be, just all that means is it's not directly below the transducer, it could be off the side. Right. Just like when we ice fish. Uh, that looks like something there. Where? No issues yesterday. None. Oh, there's one. Oh, I lost him. Tighten your drag up. Got, got it again. Nice. Do your thing. Yeah. They come on. Silver. Mm. Perfect. Okay. Can I do that? Can I make a smile? Just a second. Okay, turn around to the camera and show off your fish. There you go. Got a nice little lake in there, guys. Okay, send them home if you want and let's put it on you doing with them. But... There you go, straight there to the bottom. There he goes. Straight to the bottom. Gets one without even knowing. Oh, yeah, he's swimming right there. Yeah, the one yesterday swam out just under the surface for a while before it went down. Didn't even see him. Just bought a bite. Oh, well, that's the old school method. There you go, good to start. Didn't even have to try it for that one. Yeah, they're uh the weird thing about these trout, they're almost like halibut and gold. Their heads are so small, you can't get their head, you can't get your hand on the gill plate. No. You, you try to pinch where their cheekbone is, and there's really not enough space for your finger. We didn't catch any on this side yesterday. We're here on the side of the bay. We saw a couple, but oh, I just missed one. Come on. Yeah. Oh. All right, guys, back on the water again. My dad just landed one and he actually just lost when I was filming this, so stay tuned. Wow. We'll get him again, he'll bite like six times.
Alright uh, guys, back on the water again. Oh, my dad just landed one and Yaki just lost when I was on the boat filming this, so stay tuned. Alright right, guys, back on the water again. My dad just landed one. Bottom? Nice. I had a small one dragging me like crazy up here. Watch it. I'm lagging on you. I'm so close to the region. That's why I want to get in there. Big guy. Small one. He's a little bigger. I think he's smaller, Dad. Is that the small one? Okay. Um. I'll leave my hand for you right here. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Hold up a little more, there you go. Number two. Go. There he goes. Send him home. They're so spunky. Yeah. No way. Not the greatest of releases, you're going to have to cut them over. No, those releases are fine. It doesn't matter. As long as the fish is going back and swimming away, that's two already for you. I'm not sitting over here trying to post your videos on Instagram. We're gonna uh, we'll tore up a little bit. You'll still get them on that. It's a fish scent to put on it today. I put bass attraction on it. I think your first one was bigger. The my smaller one yesterday like that? Yeah. Fought like that. Fought harder. There's something down the bottom right now. Jeez. Oh yeah. Well, maybe I should start fishing here. I got those posted anyways. Hugging the bottom. What's that? They're definitely hugging the bottom. Yeah? Yeah. That's why we didn't see many as we were moving around then. Yesterday they were up probably 10 feet. Sure, it's gonna be like something that we don't want to be fishing right now. There's that. Not a bad one, eh? Sorry. That's a better one, Dad. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. You ready? You come by me? You know the front? Walk the camera. All right, guys. Got my first one of the day. That's the best one I've seen out on this lake so far. We're gonna send him home. He actually swirled on the surface. There he goes. He's not super happy yet. No, he's gone. There you go. Yes. So what just happened there was, I've kind of been messing around. My dad's been fishing more than I have. Um, a fish just swirled on the surface, probably about I don't know, 20, 30 feet over to our side. I cast it over with the tube, let it sink, twisted a couple times, and the fish smoked it. Talk about aggression. All right, let's go. Let's go. Don't even need a fish finder out here. Just 
like bass feeding off the surface. That's crazy. I can tell you right now, I did not expect it to be a trout. But as soon as I felt it fighting, it wasn't fighting like a bass. It wasn't digging, it wasn't jumping, it was just doing that. Yeah. Fast head shake. It is totally hard. That's the best one yet. 100%. Unreal. Wow. Wow. Yeah. But I don't understand why that that they look like Halliburton golds. Their heads are so small. Like they're like little narrow heads. That one's not dark, right? That one first one of mine was doing the snow, bro. You had like a pale one. I'd, yeah. Actually they've all been fairly pale. That's the first one I've seen dark. So I don't know what that means. I guess we're not gonna leave the spot yet. Give it a minute anyways, right? Holy, I worked that like a like a small mode too. I just cast it over the top bottom a couple times. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> what the heck? I look real professional with the electrical tape on my rod here. <laughs> I don't know if I know, but they'll probably won't look that hard at it. I'm gonna have to go and be fishing old school for a second. Uh, maybe not, someone's onion, we're not gonna do it yet. I think someone was onion on that pump. I think there was. There's a U, and then there was another mark there with you. It's not marked right there at all. Yeah, right there. Come up, he's on you. Twitch, that twitch on the spot. Twitch? Yeah, just be twitching like this on the spot. It's right there, he came up below you, see it? Yeah. That was you, a straight line, he came up below you. Come up again, I think. There's definitely came up there. It's not marking good at all. I don't know what else to do with this. Go ahead. Oh, there you go. Oh, I just missed him. Did you? Okay. There. Yeah, keep, keep, keep fishing. I'm just gonna not do it. You hit yay? I thought something was looking at you. Son of a gun. I think he's coming up again, Dad. Yeah. yeah he's on you. Yeah, he's, he's he just dropped. Dropped the bottom. I'll do a pop, do a pop. Yeah. He's coming up, he's coming up. Just twitch. Just twitch on the spot now. He's coming up. Just twitch. He just started spiking back up right there when this thing got interference. See, we didn't have interference to be able to catch this fish so easy. He's sick me. He's coming up. He's coming up. You ready? Just twitch. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hard. There you go. Nice, Dad. On fire. On fire. Oh, my God. On fire. That's the ugly stick. Look at that. Nice. Hey, fish with the fish. See, and, and if, that, if that fish finder was acting up like that, yeah. it'd be a lot easier. Okay, look too. Whatever. There you go. Ready? Okay, what you playing here? Fourth fish of the day, number four. Beauty. Okay, another one. And that, that one we actually got to see in Iraq, right? But yep.
All right, guys, great day. Just got off the lake. We ended up with four fish. Uh, my dad got three, I got one. We kind of put on a clinic. Uh, I guess I gotta take some, uh, take some notes. Anyways, great day on the water. This is a great little lake, great little stock lake. We've got lots of lake tournaments that seem to be very aggressive. So I'll definitely be back making more videos to see if maybe I can find something a little bit bigger. But uh, small lake probably doesn't have giants in it, but I'm sure there's something a little bit bigger than what we uh, bumped into. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to click the like button on the video and subscribe to our channel by clicking the logo in the bottom right hand corner. We appreciate all the support. Thank you.